Today we create neon lights in After Effects. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create this really cool looking neon light animation into After Effects without using any third party plugin. So it's going to be 100% After Effects, really simple and easy to create. So let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are into After Effects. So let's go ahead and create a new composition. I'm going to keep it the main comp so I'm name this to main 1920 into 1080 30 frames and 10 seconds and hit ok so we can go straight ahead and start typing any text that you want to add in so let's say I'll type in be for now that is behance now you can anytime replace it I'm just gonna type it for the reference so keep it right over there go to character make it to, let's say 300 pixels and we can go ahead and add a stroke now as default it's gonna be unchecked like so so what you need to do is just click right over here and then you can just increase the stroke to whatever that you want to keep it so for now i'm gonna keep it at six and you can change the color to anything that i would like to go with so as behance is kind of a blue color so i'm gonna go with something like this maybe lighter blue and make sure you use a light font instead of a bold and you know kind of an italic or bold font because neon effect looks really good on light fonts instead of bold ones so make sure to use a light font you can also use a bold font just play around and experiment using different fonts who knows it may look more cooler you know so maybe i'll just align this in the center like so so here we have our text I can just select my text and pre-comp it by right clicking go to pre-comp and let's call this text and hit ok then let's create a background so for the background I'm going to import an image that is a brick wall image you can use any kind of an image that you want to go with I'm just going to keep it right over there hit S to bring down the scale properties and scale this down a bit like so now it's just too much saturated I'm going to desaturate a bit so I'm going to add a UN saturation bring down the master saturation to let's say maybe minus 50 and the master lightness to maybe minus 80 that is pretty good maybe a bit more just like that we can also go ahead and add a vignette to make it look really nice so you can just create a new solid by hitting Control Y on the keyboard and let's name this win for vignette and hit OK. Go to the ellipse tool, just double click on it, invert the mask and set the feather by hitting F to let's say 700. So it's going to give a really nice vignette as you can see. Maybe I'll bring this a bit more closer just like so. Yeah, that looks perfect to me. Now let's go ahead and start creating on neon light. So to do that, what we need to do is select the text and add a bevel and emboss. So to do that, you can just right click, go to layer styles and add a bevel and emboss like so. You can see right off the bat, we get a really nice depth to our text. So you can go into the bevel and emboss settings and maybe I'll bring down the highlight opacity all the way down up to 50 and the shadow opacity 250 as well just like that then maybe I'll also add a drop shadow to this so I'll add a drop shadow you can type in the drop shadow there we go the distance is somewhere around there maybe around 20 and the softness to maybe 15 yeah that looks pretty good and I'm gonna also add a fill to it and make this kind of gray or maybe kind of a black almost a black yep that looks pretty okay and then maybe I'll just increase or decrease the highlight opacity to 30 yep that looks pretty okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text hit ctrl D to duplicate it we don't need to drop shadow we don't need the fill 
what I'm gonna add is a fast blur so I'm typing fast blur and change the blurriness to let's say 85 maybe yep that looks pretty good and add a fill effect and make it blue color as our behance text so yep there we go then I'm gonna duplicate it again get rid of the fast blur and the fill so I'm gonna delete it and add a bevel and emboss on this effect now it's already added I guess yep there we have it and change the highlight opacity to zero and increase or maybe decrease the shallow opacity all the way down to 35% so we have something like that and then I'm gonna add a glow effect and increase the glow threshold to all the way up to 90% and maybe I'll increase the glow radius as well to somewhere around there maybe around 20 I guess and decrease the glow intensity to 0.8 so we have something like this as you can see but we're not done yet we need to create some really nice background lights to give that kind of a glow effect to it so to do that I'm gonna create a new solid and this is gonna be a light so I'm gonna rename this to lights then go to window and bring down the effects and control panel effects and preset panel type in four color gradient so there we have it just drag it onto our lights solid bring this down above our brick wall layer and change the blend mode to vivid light now we can go ahead and select the blue color from our text something like that maybe it's a bit too much so what like that and then just select those colors like so you can see maybe just too bright i'll decrease the opacity somewhere around there it's kind of purple maybe i'll make it a bit more bluish just making it a bit darker like so yep that looks pretty good and then I'm gonna create a mask around it so we can just select the rounded rectangle and create a mask like so then hit F to bring down the mask further properties and just feather this out a little bit maybe around 250 bam then we have this really nice glow effect maybe I'll increase the hue and saturation a bit somewhat like this and the cool part is you can go anytime back into your text layer and just replace it with anything that you want to go with so let's say if I want to add different text let's say dope and let's add an element as well so I'm gonna add a stroke maybe like that align this maybe I'll make it 15 and change the color to a blue color duplicate it change the stroke to 5 pixels and make it white there we go now if i go back you can see we have our updated text now all you need to do is to you know manipulate the mask and make it according to your subject so for now i'm going to just make it something like that there we have it really simple and easy to do now the cool thing that you can do is you can also create that blinking effect that we get when you know turning on the neon light so to create that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my first text first of all hit T to bring down the opacity and create a keyframe bring down the person all the way down to zero and select the keyframe and hold alt and control and click on the keyframe and it's going to create a hold keyframe then I'm going to go one frame forward by hitting page page down bring this up to let's say 25% go one frame forward bring this down to 10% go one frame forward bring this up to 50% go one frame forward bring this up to let's say 25 then go again one frame forward bring this up to maybe 70% go one frame again forward and bring this up to 50% and 
and for last time go one frame forward and bring this up to 100 percent then we can just select all the keyframes hit alt and just drag them out like so so now we have something like this but it's not done yet we need to paste this keyframe on the other layers as well so i'm gonna just hit u so we can see the keyframes select all of them hit ctrl c to copy it ctrl v to paste it and ctrl v to paste it on the lights as well now we have something like this really simple and easy to do now you can obviously manipulate this keyframe to key create a more organic kind of look as you can see maybe something like that or you can also go ahead and make it 3d so turn all the layers into 3d create a new camera make it maybe 35 millimeters hit ok and give it a really different and nice look as well so maybe i'll keep it somewhere around there increase the scale of the vignette and the brick so maybe i'll just scale them up just like so maybe somewhere around there and um go to camera hit a to bring down the properties turn on depth of field bring up the aperture to 150 blur to 150 as well and maybe I'll just set this to 1500 or 2000 and now you can go ahead and create some really nice looking animation so you can see make it look really good maybe I'll increase the drop shadow to somewhere around there maybe right over there we keep decrease the blur to 10% Increase the opacity to 75% and yep, that looks pretty good. Maybe the, decrease the distance a bit to somewhere around there. Yep, that is looking pretty cool. You can go ahead and animate this as well. You can hit P to bring down the position properties of the camera. Go back in time and rotate it something like that. So yep, as you can see, you can create some really cool and nice effect by using this technique and that too without any third party plugin. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.